welcome to RV Toolbox Tips number four, I guess it is. Today is going to have something that I have had my whole life, but I never thought I would use it for an RV, and something else I didn't know what it was two years ago that I can't get by without for my RV. Let's say you're going to mooch dock. Everybody know what that is? That's where you pull up in a friend's driveway for a while and hook up to their house and and visit with them for a few days, okay? And Well, yeah, okay. Uh, or maybe you just pull your RV into your own driveway, driveway to work on it, to, you know, get ready for a trip or something like that. Or maybe you're going to let some of your relatives stay in it for a couple of days while they visit. In order to do that, you need a special type of extension cord. Now, I'm not talking about the cord that you normally run from that column there at the state park to your RV. That that 30 amp cord with the twist lock and all that type of stuff that it has. Yeah. Um, I'm not talking about that. All right, That's a very special tool All right, that's made for that purpose. And you need, if you're hooking up to 30 amp, you need one of those 30 amp cables. If you're hooking up to 50 amp, you need to 50, 40, whatever, you know, you need, you need a special tool and they're made to go together only for that use. But if you're going to hook up to the outlet in your garage, let's say, because you're working on your RV in the house, you don't want to use some uh, flimsy, cheap little extension cord. Now, if your cord for your RV manages to reach an outlet in your garage, great. If it does, then you're going to need the first thing. In, on our list today, and that's one of these adap adapters. You plug this into your regular wall outlet, which is probably only going to be 20 amp, and, and then you can plug in your, say, 30 amp cable right there. All right, now um, that works great, it really does. You need to have this with you in your RV at all times because you never know when you might be wanting to do that. But that is the adapter for going from a household uh, 20 amp to, you know, 110 basically to your RV, all right? And you can make it work just fine. Now, okay, you're not gonna be able to run everything like crazy in that RV if it's got a lot of things, um, just with the house current, or you're gonna blow that, that 20 amp breaker, something like that, probably. Um, you can't run your air conditioner and your microwave and your heater and who knows what else that, that you run uh, and your computer and everything else. You might, you might overdo that breaker and blow that breaker. But if you can plug it in there and if it's close enough to your garage outlet where you can just use your regular RV cable and one of these, great. Chances are though, it's not gonna be. It never is, it seems, close enough to be able to just plug in with just one of these. You always need some kind of extension cord. And don't use your buddy's cheap little 18 gauge extension cord. Oh gosh, so many of us have a 100 foot 18 gauge orange extension cord that we use for power tools. Well, first off, that's a good way to burn up a power tool, okay? Uh, that 100 foot extension cord. Uh, and using your skill saw, you know, day in, day out, you're building an addition to your house or something like that, you're gonna burn up that saw because the resistance of the electricity traveling through that wire is gonna heat up that wire and it's going to heat up your tool and, and burn it up. So you need something I've always had and that is a heavy, heavy extension cord. And you don't want it to be 100 feet, you want it to be maybe 50 feet. And this is a 10 gauge cord, which means it will handle 30 amps, all right? Uh, it'll probably get a little warm, depending on what you're doing, but now you can use, you can plug this in, you can plug this in, and then plug this into here, and connect your 30 amp from your RV to it. Now, this stays in your RV, unless you know you're gonna be mooch docking, this can stay at home, uh, but sometimes I go and visit my brother and he's got a, um, a light post out in his yard on his ranch that's got just a regular house outlet. I got to do something. I've got to use this or I've got to use this or a combination of that. But that's your tip for today. Get one of these, put it in your RV 
get one of these, use it for all kinds of stuff, and use it for your RV, although it can stay at home if you're smart, smart enough to pack it when you think you might want to need it. If not, get another one of these and put it in your storage. That's your RV tool tip for today. Hey, come back soon and we'll have another one for you. See you later.